I am rejoicing because OBS Studio finally got a pause button. Hello everyone, I am Lasmalan and welcome back to The Great Siege. This is the fourth video and here we are going to continue fighting against what in the last, like the end of the last video, apparently we were being attacked by the ogres barrack, but that was a lie, They're, they are not ogres and the reason is, if you watched the last video, uh, the second wave, like, one on one of the levels, you could see armies of ogres are approaching. And ogres are the guys that we've seen, you know, since ages ago. And I think we fought the ogre boss in the second boss battle. He was actually, you know, uh, the battle against him wasn't even as close as the battle against the first boss. So we are going to be fighting something different today, even though the game is somehow trying to make us think they are ogres. Right, and we have max level catapult, so level 5, but only 3 level wall. Also, uh, we could upgrade the farm, but I think we're gonna need the gold to... The gold and the stone, maybe. Actually, it's not a boss battle, so I'm getting that farm. The farm is now max level as well, so these are all max. The mine is max, thankfully. We bought the barracks, bought the archer camp. So what we need left is elite academy, war factory... And hero altar is really just a bonus at the end. Well, you'll see. It's uh, we're gonna get it because we're gonna max everything out, everything else out before the end. But yeah, that thing only matters as an added bonus. All right, let's go to battle. It is currently uh, New Year's Day. Uh, of course, you're gonna see it much later because because. Uh, Oh, nice. So this is level. This is the last level catapult. As you can see, has great range and uh, does great damage. It kills the ogres. Like the trolls, they weren't that hard, but the ogres still took a bit of hits to kill. This one kills the ogres in one hit. It kills the elves in one hit. And as long as I aim it right, I can actually kill those elves. So that's how awesome it is. It just takes a while to recharge. I need to hit an L. Okay, that is what we're going to be fighting against. Oh, they just sent two units in succession. So this red one is an orc, I'm pretty sure. It is an orc, and they are rough. Like, they're completely... Like, oh my goodness, I missed. I, hope, I was hoping that would be an ogre, but those are elves. So, uh, actually, that's lucky. Both of them died. But yeah, that was an orc. Much rougher than ogres. Definitely a lot rougher than these trolls. Uh going to destroy our castle if we don't uh, kill them in time. Ooh, I actually made a bit of a mistake here, I think. Wall, okay, wall didn't help us, and as a result, the elf damaged a bit. But the elf, the elf is fast and hard to hit, but nothing damage-wise in comparison to what these orcs are going to do to us. Thankfully, now we have a level 5 catapult, we can kill them. And that is a, a goblin archer next to another sort of archer or crossbow man. Which is higher level. Now, I don't think they're orcs or any other race. I think they're, they may even be humans. But it's just, you know, they just do more damage and have more health than the uh, goblin archers. Even though health isn't going to matter because we're going to destroy... Uh, we're going to destroy both them and the goblin archers in one shot. Right, so the orcs, they're going to be pretty tough. Yeah, uh, I haven't even really, I haven't even created the Flash game playlist yet. Uh, because, you know, I don't really feel like editing right now, but I do feel like recording, so I have a bit of a, I have a bit of a backlog going on, aka, I already have this fourth Great Siege video going, and I haven't even started uploading videos and editing them. So that level was pretty easy, but we got a taste of what's to come. We have orcs, we have new types of archers, even though the old types are still there. Elves are now coming on a regular basis. Uh, ogres are, st are still there, but no more goblins. And Ogres and trolls aren't a problem, we just kill them in one hit now. So, we need a thousand stone. Can we get a Can we get 500 stone? Ooh, can we though? So this is, we need 45,000. We don't have enough gold to do that. No, we can't. So can't get the wall yet. 
but what we can get is the Elite Academy. Now, we don't have enough stones for this, but maybe we could get the stones? No, I don't, I don't think so. We cannot, but at least at least we'll have some stones to build units. So going to this next one, still level three wall. This is a uh, level two of stage four. Many ogres. So the ogres are the one, these ones, the ones that are coming out right now. But I'm sure we'll see at least some elves and some orcs in this in this uh, wave. The catapult is becoming quite slow, but at least it hit both of those. Okay, I thought an elf was going to come, but, you know, the fact that we hit that orc is even better. The fact that we didn't hit this one, and that they're now coming, and are pretty much inevitably going to damage our castle, is not the best, but... Uh, the wall actually helped us there, it stunned that orc, but one of them did get one, you know, half hit off. Uh, he was about to deal the second slash. Uh, I was preemptively shooting in case of an elf. But the el- ooh! I was just gonna say, the elves didn't really come this time around in, in the last wave, but they did in this one. Ooh! Missed an ogre. An ogre is now going to actually shoot us because... He just went in there and we were bothering with the uh, elves and orcs. But we're bothering with elves and orcs for a reason. I mean, it's more important than for us that we get those guys. Look how many orcs are now coming. They're messed up. Ooh, and now see, we're now we're starting to actually be endangered, seriously endangered, by something that is not uh, a boss fight. Yes, our war, our wall, not war. Our wall is severely damaged. And see, they approach as armies of orcs, so I am right about them being called orcs. I really hope they don't send a super unit or anything, even though they probably will. And by super unit, I mean something that's not an orc or elf or ogre, something that uh, is going to be strong. We've seen one of those before. It was, I think it was, it might have been during uh, the third boss. And there, that's the one I'm talking about. Thankfully, they're slow. They're slow, uh, slower than orcs. And... Uh, while they don't die in two hits like the orcs do, they die in three hits, and we just killed all of them. So that was really nice catapult uh, usage, catapult manipulation. But if they... Uh, I'm pretty sure that if they were to uh, come near a castle, they would kill it. Uh, they would start damaging it more than an orc. So, glad that that's not a problem. Really am. Alright, we win. But now, we're gonna proceed. Okay, there we go, we finally have enough to upgrade our wall. It is now a level 4 wall. Is it gonna be enough against this boss? Also, we need more stone. But this time, we actually can get enough stone to also get this War Factory. War Factory uh, provides better weaponry. So, at this point, we, can, we get access to all of our units and You'll see, some of them are quite nice. Oh my goodness, I just wasted so much score. And I need the score for stone. I have 100 stone now, probably not enough. Would I exchange this? Sure, I'll, I'll sacrifice 200 crystals to get 100 stone. There we go. Now we can actually build some sort of an army for this. And we are going into the fourth boss fight. But now we have the Elite Academy and the Worf, so this is our fourth wall. Looks pretty cool, right? Yeah, um, we can build the army. So we now have access to Elite Guards, for whom I'm pretty sure we need the War Factory. And they're the second unit that levels up once they uh, pass through the entire map. So I'm, I'm sure we will eventually get to use some captains. Don't have a tank yet, but I guess you see how it looks now. Uh, we also have the Elf Warrior. Elf Warriors, as you can see, elite unit with high damage. But we can only have two of them uh, alive at one time. So, only if they die we can get more. I really wish... Actually, there are stats here. HP 76, uh, while here's 40 and 20. Um, 
I just wish there was like an encyclopedia where we could check the stats of our units versus the enemy's units. Uh, the elite guard, better range defense. That's interesting. But also more HP, I can see. These units are some of the more elite units. We have the knight, which is a very special unit. Although, you know, he costs already this much stone. Mainly stone, but also crystals, just that we happen to have a lot of crystal. It's usually the stone that would... I mean, it's usually, I guess, stone and crystals would both be a problem. But right now, stone is a much bigger problem for us. Uh, this is the elf archer. We've bought the regular archers already. Not very impressive. It seems that the elves in this game, the elf warrior, the elf archer, uh, they're just better than humans overall. But we can get the elf archer, and you'll see, you'll see. And these, finally, are utility, utility units. This is the worker. The worker helps repair the wall, and the elf engineer helps repair the catapult. Now, I have... I have rarely ever used the elf engineer. The elf engineer, the elf engineer, really is just a last resort unit. If they've broken through our wall and are are now damaging the catapult, we can send some, uh, we can send some assault units to try to hold them off while the elf engineer heals the catapult. But if they're right here, the catapult is not going to be able to actually do much. But the worker I've used quite a lot. I think at this point. We need to get... We absolutely need to get the worker. There is no way around it. And... I guess we'll get the elf archer as well. Just to show. Now, I, I will show the knight, but I think the knight is overall a cooler character. So let's show the elf archer first. The elf archer is mainly... You know, mainly costs crystal, but also kind of gold. Uh, the workers are just all stone based. So, yeah, let's hire them. I'm not going to hire any elf warriors or elite guards on this one. I'm not gonna hire the elf engineer either. If we lose, I don't think the healing that the elf engineer would provide to the catapult would matter at all. Also, it's really hard to see the difference between, you know, elves and uh, humans. Because she just looks like a human, but is apparently an elf engineer. Other than being more powerful, I guess, the elves don't really differ by that much from humans. So, the worker? There's no point in sending the worker yet, because our wall is not damaged. But let's send the elf archer. Let's see what she can do. And if she's gonna be better than just these archers that fire some arrows right here below the wall. So we're sending the archer, and we're firing. You can see her right here. So... She's actually... She actually uses this cliff to be able to hit anywhere on the screen. Okay, that was a bad catapult management by me. And I wish that she hit the units that were closest to the... Uh, to the wall. But she doesn't. She just... I don't know... Arbitrarily hits them or something. And she does damage, from which from what I know is somewhat decent, but not as much as the catapult, of course. The catapult destroys ogres and, uh, I mean, ogres and elves, yes. Oh my goodness, it didn't hit that elf, that's actually annoying. It didn't hit that elf. Um, and... You know, because of that, her utility is quite limited. Like... If she hits an elf in the running, she'd stun uh, the elf, and so that would give the catapult more time to shoot, which is good. But overall, uh, you know, and against orcs, I think her damage might matter. Usually they die in two hits. I wonder, let's try to let her damage an orc and then shoot with the catapult once and see if it dies. If it doesn't, then she's kind of useless against orcs. I mean, I guess she, if she, unless she hits one orc multiple times. But yeah, her utility is uh, very limited. But at the same time, we buy her once. And then she keeps being there for the rest of the game. Which is why I generally find her to be a useful unit. I'm not, I'm not like the archers, which I guess when the wall gets damaged, just leave eventually. The regular archers, that is. But now our wall is damaged, so let's summon our worker as well. And our worker is going to... Slowly 
build up this wall. Uh, now notice, here's what's happening right now. What's happening right now is kind of a stalemate. The crossbowmen are trying to damage the wall and our worker is uh, trying to repair it. And overall, this can go on like... You know, with three of them, they'd probably eventually destroy the wall. But with only two of them, and especially with only one of them, if there's only one of them, this leaves, you know, this means it's gonna take forever, yes, but eventually the worker is going to uh, repair the wall entirely. So basically, if you want your wall to be more repaired by the time the next wave comes, just have a worker here and leave one of these guys alive. But here, of course, the archer is killing them, so eventually they're going to die, and so by that time, the wall isn't quite going to be fully healed. So, you know, if you want to use this tactic perfectly, don't summon the archer. Now, I wish there was a way to kind of, you know, tell the archer to go away or something like that. Even if that would be rude. Okay, the next wave is about to come. The second wave, and now we need to... Now, immediately. Oh, okay. So, let's hit this orc right here. No, uh... It, it does not, you know... One archer hit plus one hit from the catapult is not enough to kill an orc. So, you know... One hit from an archer is not going to make any difference when it comes to orcs. Also... I think she just made it worse, because uh, I would have hit the orc with a catapult if she didn't hit it with a, you know, with her bow, so, and she kind of, using the knockback, she kind of made it so that I didn't hit the orc with the catapult, and that was kind of lame, but, see, right now we're doing actually, we're actually doing well. The archer is preventing some of those guys from uh, getting to the wall prematurely, I mean, some of them attacked, mainly the elves, but... We're actually, the wall is almost healed, so you can see the worker, very useful, the archer, somewhat useful, but of course more useful than those archers that, uh, I don't know, maybe I'm too, unf like, harsh towards them, maybe they are great for when we are, uh, you know, right at the, when the enemies are right at the wall, we need to defend against them. Okay, let's hope that hits both, that hit both, nice. Ah, another of those uh, battering ram rams, they are a bit uh, hard to, you know, they're not hard to deal with, but like right now, he's half, he's more than halfway across the map, and I haven't, see, he's going to get an attack off, because I haven't killed him in time, and that is uh, brutal, we need to send our worker here again, uh, see, that was much more devastating than an orc, but now, orcs are also going to get multiple hits off, because... I was focusing on the ram and didn't hit the orcs in time. I I really don't like the bug that we're... Uh... Okay, we need to kill some of them. Okay, killed some of them, that's nice. I really don't like the bug where when they're not, while they're being knocked back, uh, you know, they can't be damaged by catapult shots, and I'm pretty sure also arrows from the archer. It's annoying because it basically makes, makes us waste a shot because of something that was actually supposed to help us, you know, such as knockback. Oh, by the way, I wonder... No, we don't get more stone throughout the battle. At least I don't think... Yeah, no way. So, we're not gonna be able to buy the knight in this battle. But there's gonna be a boss in this battle, so... Things might get rough, because this is wave 3, once he falls, wave 4 begins, and we all know what wave, wave 4 entails. I'm not ready for it. But we need to try. We need to try our best. Ah, and may the might of all men and light elves be with us. There we go. Orc Captain. He is something else. Now notice the special that he does, kind of like the special that the Elf Queen did, as in it uh, it does damage, so like if there's units there, he just kills them, meaning sending basic units is basic, it's kind of, it's almost useless against him, aka it's going to help just a tiny little bit, okay. And it also damages the wall. The Elf special didn't matter nearly as much because her, you know, doing that actually didn't it it didn't 
actually hit anyone. It didn't hit the wall and we didn't send units towards her. The units were all busy fighting the people here. But this one, the wall is about... <sighs> the wall's already about to fall. Uh, so the worker has to leave. And see, now we can't... It, it stops. We can't hit this boss now with our uh, catapult. And he's damaging the catapult, which is of course more fragile than the wall. He? He's like a third of the weight damaged. This uh, this boss is brokenly overpowered, and I think we got our first loss from this. The good thing about the game is that it doesn't punish us too hard for losses, aka we lose, it still gives us resources, and we can try again as many times as we want. But this boss is ridiculously overpowered. I'm pretty sure it could be unbeatable. Now, I don't remember... I don't remember it being... When I played for the first times, which was so much time ago, I don't remember this boss being unbeatable. But perhaps it's because I used an alternate way of winning that level. Because I was not able to beat this boss the last one or two times I played, and I'm pretty sure some others weren't either. Even if we max everything and use all the help from our units that we can get, we might not be able to kill him. I'm not going... So, you know, try again, of course. We got some golden crystals now, that's great. Uh, oh, we, got, we have to have a lot of stone for this. We could get the tank, and that's what we would get if we were trying to, like, have 100% of everything on that level. Can recruit only one, and, you know, we have to build a tank. Costs quite a bit. And when the tank falls, we have to build another one. So it's kind of like a unit, but a very expensive one. I would say it's only worth it once you max the wall and the catapult and you have enough resources to also get uh, the essential units like Knight, Worker and Elf Archers. Sure. Um, oh, we could also get this, which again... We could keep playing this level and losing and getting resources, and we could get this, we could max out the wall and get the tank, and get all of the units that we can, like, all of the units up until we just can't get any more because of the population limits. And then we might still not be able to be beat the boss. I will try. I want to come back and try to do that. And that's why I'm going to save here in the second uh, save file. And come back later and try to beat him when I have everything. But right now I'm not going to do that. To finish off this video, I will show you an alternate way of beating the levels that really isn't... You know, it is n n very much not preferable. It's not what I'd usually do, but this level actually kind of forces us to do it, or at least do it, or spend a lot of time killing that boss, if it's even possible. So, you know, let's get into the game. I don't think, I don't think I'm going to build a hero altar or the tank just yet, and there's nothing else we can build. So I'll just show you a different way of beating the level. And it is essential for that way that we do not use the Elf Archer. Uh, you might have already guessed what that is. But if you haven't, don't worry. You're going to see it very, very soon. Let's get the Knight. And let's try to... I mean, I'm uh, yeah, we're also... Worker is going to be essential, having the Worker. And, you know, not using the Elf Archer is also going to be essential. So we can hire her, but it's not gonna make a difference because we would have to not use her, and I'm pretty sure that the units do not carry over to n uh, next battles. I can understand why that's the case for someone like the knight, but... You know, for expendable units like foot soldiers and elite guards, I kinda wish... Especially captains and stuff like that, I kinda wish they'd carry over. Uh, so... We now have the knight and the worker. I'm not gonna send either of them yet, the worker because the wall is full, and the knight because... I'll send him when things are a bit more rough. I also want to get the... I'll get two elf warriors, we can get at most two of them, let's see how good they are. And I will get five elite guards. I think we'll use them on level... Uh, on wave three. Wave four, we're... 
Actually, would there be a wave 3? That's, that's the question. I don't know. We'll use the lead guards on wave 2. And then the... Elf Warriors... Actually, no. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm taking too much time deciding this. What we're, Okay, Orcs. There's already gonna be lots of Orcs. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to send the guards, but not the warriors, not the workers, and not the knight. Let's send the guards. By the time they get there, I'm sure that the fields are already going to be swarming with orcs. Kind of like this one. So, you know, kind of like with the foot soldiers, uh, the gates open and they fight. But, unlike the foot soldiers, they can't dig, so... And they do not die from a single slash by orcs, but as you can see, some of them started to actually die there. And now there's only one of them alive. But he played his role perfectly and allowed me to basically destroy those... destroy those orcs. Uh, I could use the knight now, but we'll wait until we have a full field. Now... We'll, we'll send our warriors. We'll also send the worker because, I mean, the wall is a bit damaged, and by the time, it may get more damaged soon. Alright, more orcs. Let's see how well our elite troops are going to fare against orcs, especially with the help of our cat, uh, with the, of our, uh, of our catapult, yes. So, you know, they killed the orcs, sure, but at the same time, I was helping a lot with the catapult. Wait, did one of them die? Okay, let's see, are they going to do any- Okay, no, there's there's still both of them there. And both of them now died, because I guess they, they were busy killing the... They were busy attacking the battering ram. And, so this is actually a good time to show the knight. And we'll send the worker too. So the knight... Damages the entire field like this. And it's really cool because once he, uh, once he, you know, he passes the field really fast, and once he does, you can use him again. Let's use him again. And of course, he's most useful when there's the most enemies on the screen because he's gonna hit them all. There we go. Two night shots, and both of those guys are dead. So more orcs. Guess what we'll do? We'll send the knight. And. Uh, Perhaps, yeah, the knight, I think the knight, yeah, the knight is uh, the perfect counter. The knight is the perfect counter to the battering ram, because you saw, but the battering ram, the or an orc takes two hits from the max level catapult to die. The battering ram takes three, so it's usually mightier than an orc. But the knight just passes through that ram once, and the ram dies. So, you know, it seems that... Uh, it seems that the battery, the knight has some uh, special ability. I just uh, screwed that up. Whew. Well, that's okay. We'll get more money from this. Oh, and also, let's see how much damage the knight does to the boss. I think that was decent. Kind of like a catapult shot. And of course... We need to, for maximum efficiency, we need to keep summoning him. I'm pr I, another thing that's special about the knight is that I'm pretty sure he cannot die. And now, what is for? I don't know if we get resources for, or a bonus for shooting the boss. Or if we only get it for killing the boss, but... That's why I decided to kill that crossbowman instead. Because I know we're not gonna win, but we need to get as much out of it as we can. So yeah, another thing special about the knight is that I'm pretty sure the knight can't be killed. I mean, the archer, of course, also can't be killed. And I think th there is no realistic way under which the worker can be killed. But, you know, the knight is the one fighting slash melee unit that can't be killed. And I know he passes through units, but all of our units eventually kind of pass through. They don't keep stay and fight until they're dead or the enemy is dead. They kind of hit the enemy once and then go on and proceed. Yeah, so the knight is very cool. Well, probably my favorite unit in the game and especially great against the battering ram. I didn't quite show the strategy that I was going to use to beat the level without having to fight the boss. 
But that's okay, look at how much resources we have now. Can't get that much. Yeah, we can't. Can't get that much for, you know, the next wall upgrade because we need a lot more stone. But perhaps... Yeah, I think it's just... Hmm. I guess it is justifiable that we buy the hero altar now. Because it's not going to make the battle harder or anything. We'll still have the resources to summon the people we need. And... You know, I'm not. I'm probably not going to use what we get from this. But I'll build it so that I don't have to build it later. All of these are now complete. We now have the maximum population. We get the maximum resources. We can trade uh, with the most beneficially for us. We can summon elite units, normal units, archers, heavy units. And we also have this, which I'm not going to show in this video. And I'm, <laughs> I'm saving both of these again because, you know, I, I'd pick up from where I left off right here. Let's see. So in the command army, there is a tank, but there is also a lumino, lumino, a lumino, lumino. Uh, <laughs> I'm not sure really how to pronounce that. He has a death toll. So what we need to do is we need to sacrifice 20 of our units. I mean, footmen work best for it because they are the cheapest, so it's easiest to get. 20 of them and then sacrifice, especially if they build us some hole, they dig us some holes before they go and sacrifice themselves. That would be great. After that, we can summon this ability. And you'll see what it does in the next video. So, you know, once again, the worker is essential for the strategy, so I'm gonna get him. But I'm not getting the knight or the elf archers because I don't think we're going to need a lot of attack power on this. I think our catapult is going to get us through just fine. Of course, the orcs are going to be a bit of, a bit problematic, but the workers is going to deal with the damage they cause. Especially when we can hit two of them at a time like this. Nice. Ooh, ooh, we can get all of them. Or almost all of them, but this guy is not going to do anything anyway because he's dead. Okay. Right now, I'm liking our catapult management. We have not made a single mistake about it so far. Okay, okay. Kill that second guy, but not the first one. So, if you haven't guessed, here is what the strategy entails. There is a timer here that is running out, and once it runs out, surprisingly, we're going to win. Uh, there are two win conditions here. We kill all the enemies, or we wait until the timer runs out. And I've left one of these crossbowmen alive. He doesn't do that much damage to the wall. You can see he's actually kind of slow at damaging the wall. And we have the perfect counter to him, which is, of course, our worker. Once the wall gets damaged enough, we'll summon a worker and make sure that he works on the wall and he's going to heal it just a bit faster than the crossbowman is going to uh, destroy it. So there is a chance that he's gonna fully heal the wall and then leave and then he's gonna keep uh, attacking it and eventually it's gonna fall but by that time I think the timer will run out already so that's the strategy I'm just going to wait until the wall gets like maybe about here health or something like that I'll summon a worker and just wait and eventually the timer will run out so that's how we can cheese the level and beat it without fighting the unbeatable boss, or the ridiculously overpowered boss. Which, which lo he looks great by the way, he's uh, absolutely cool as far as design goes. But, you know, it kinda takes away from enjoying his design when you know that you can't by any reasonable means beat him. So maybe the first times I played I just always used this method to kill the fourth boss. Funnily enough, the fifth one doesn't require this method. I've killed the fifth one, I know, many times, and uh, I'm pretty sure he might even be an easier boss to deal with than the fourth one. The fifth one is the last one, by the way, if you haven't guessed. Uh, there are five overall, five towns. Uh, this was the fourth one, the AKA Ogre Barrack, but no, that is absolutely not what it should be called, because it is the Orc Barrack. We're fighting Orcs on this one, we fought Ogres 
since the second uh, since the second faction started attacking us. But notice there's still ogres here and there's still elves and stuff like that. So it, the enemies just kind of accumulate. But yeah, worker, yeah, well, our wall is severely damaged. We get this message even if we don't have the worker. We must repair it immediately. And I'm like, no, not immediately. I'm gonna wait until it's even more damaged. So there's more work for you. Ha 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 ha. But don't worry, it's for a noble cause because you'll work longer and as a result he will have far less time to destroy the wall and catapult before the timer runs out. And of course I could keep summoning the worker, like I uh, the wall is low, I summon the worker, he eventually uh, completely repairs the wall and leaves, he keeps damaging the wall, eventually it's low again, then I summon the worker again. I just don't want to have to... You know, usually when I do this, I want to kind of tab out and do other stuff while this is happening, because it's not the most exciting action, really. But while I was talking, he actually got... You know, first of all, a lot of time has passed, but second, he actually got the wall so low that at this point, I will summon the worker. And he's going to heal or repair, I guess is the right word, the wall. And he is going to damage it. And eventually, the timer will run out to his very detriment, and mainly to the disappointment of the boss. He's like, okay, I am a really powerful boss, I can beat the... I can beat this town and destroy the wall and their siege weapons easily, but I'm not going to go ahead and do that until they destroy all of the, my waves, even though... I have to do this within a certain time limit, but no, I'm gonna trust in this one guy, and only if he falls will I send myself and uh, all of these next waves, which this is just level wave one, so if he fell, we'll still have two more waves to go. Yeah, I could have done this on level th on wave three, but I decided why bother, we can just do it on wave one and be done with it, you know? It will take a bit more time from wave one, but, and yeah, I guess if I waited until wave three, would get more experience. You know what? I'm pretty sure that we do get bonus resources for killing units. So I am actually going to kill the next two waves except the except one crossbowman on the uh, on the third wave. Oh, that was a bad shot. But don't worry, we have our worker and the wall is already oh. <laughs> See, it, it kind of fluctuated between being, between looking broken and not broken. Ooh, ooh, oh, we don't have the knight, I forgot, huh? But we really just need to damage the battering ram and the orcs, and we'll be just fine. Also, I want to kill any new... I want to kill any new crossbone, because the crossbone that's in front is going to be the one that... Uh, the one that we keep alive. Just in case, you know, I didn't want to do what I did the last time that I tried to use the strategy, which, I mean, you just saw. This was a try, that was a try before this one, where I, c actually, no, never mind, I'm stupid. We're not, we're not keeping this one alive. So yeah, the third wave already starts with orcs, so, you know, things are getting serious, but, does it matter? No, because... We have a worker. And we're not going to let them mess us up. Alright. We have one of the crossbowmen alive, that's what matters. Ah, uh, I really wish that gotten the elf, because now the battering ram took a hit. Not took a hit, but uh, dealt a hit to our wall. And the elves. But you can see why in this strategy, using the elf archer up here is not going to work. Because the Elf Archer will just kill the crossbowmen that are left here. And now we need to be careful to only kill... We want to only leave one of them alive. Oh my goodness, I'll be back. I'm actually... I'm, I'm pissed off now, I'll be back. Ooh, do you notice anything? Yeah, we're doing this. Because I now stupidly failed 
so many times. I mean, I failed once for good reason, aka the boss was really hard and unbeatable, but twice I messed up that strategy when I'll have enough resources to upgrade the wall to level 5. And, you know, you're not gonna see this, what's gonna happen in this next level, because I'm just cutting it, not gonna even bother showing that, huh? I was trying to get both of those, I mean, no, not both, just one of those crossbowmen. The one that was closer to where I was aiming, but the one that was further away walked closer just in time to get hit by that too. Really annoying. And of course the, bo the boss showed up. Yeah, I guess my greed, my wanting to kill more units, ended up costing me some time, but at least we can have the max level wall now. So again, saving on both because I was stupid. And going into battle. This is the max level wall. Looks pretty darn cool if you ask me. Of course, we're getting the worker. Have, oh, I, I definitely I made sure that we have enough stone to get him because otherwise it would have been comical at this point. And yeah, at this point, nothing new worth showing. I mean, not, nothing new at all is gonna happen in this unless I just majorly screw up or something like that. But you've seen enough of me screwing up, so see you soon. So I waited for about five minutes or so, which is you know a pretty long time to wait. There is no way that you would. There's no way that in a natural game you would reach the time limit without doing something like this. But I assume that this was the way that that was intended to be used. But yeah, interestingly enough, as you can see, the wall is not yet at full. And uh, this worker, the one worker that I sent, he actually never le he never fully finished repairing the wall and left. He's just uh, hammering the ground there and the wall is magically getting better, but, you know, I, I never had to send another one. So that's actually kind of nice. And he's about to finish repairing the wall. Yeah, of course, I'm kind of tempted to shoot him, actually. Because I want to see that boss, you know, come here into the battlefield and then lose anyway. Yeah, let's do that. That would be more epic. Alright, die, crossbowman. And the time is 10 seconds. Hey, boss. I think you're not quite in time. 5 seconds. 4, 3, 2, 1. We got reinforcements. Uh, I, I kind of wish that we'd see them running over the map and killing the enemies, but they just kind of froze and uh, our reinforcements arrived. That were so numerous. That they will not hold off. I assume that this city... Oh, nice, 0% structural damage. I think our worker finished repairing that wall, so that's why we got 0 structural damage. Mm, I assume that the city that we built, uh, you know, in the middle of all these other cities that are now attacking us, we have some connection to a different place, and that's where reinforcements are coming from. But knowing how eager these people are to attack us, these reinforcements should just stay here until we wipe them all out and uh, then leave, from what it seems like. So yeah, this is the, was the alternate way to beat the boss, the unbeatable boss of stage 4. Now the, the wrongly named Ogre's Barrack is dead, now the Bulls Tower is attacking us. Humans, we've come to burn your farm, slay your people and lay waste to your city. Ah, uh, that was a, like a rhinoceros dude. And so we are apparently being attacked by Bulls? Oh, also, we still have so much gold, because we bought that wall, but the wall mainly required stone. We still had a crap ton of gold even after we built the wall. Build the wall? Okay, but now, now that we literally have nothing to spend our resources on, except for the units and the tank, and we have quite a bit of resources, I actually feel justified buying the tank. Now, if we can look, everything is complete. And we're going to be going into the next level with unlimited possibilities. But that is it, this was pretty long, be mainly because of that level, that tricky level. Now we're only saving the first one because I want to come back to this one after beating the game and try to eventually beat that boss by fair means, you know, means that aren't designed to circumvent the boss, but rather to actually kill him. 
But that's it for this video. In the next one, we will tackle on the bull tower. And see you then. Bye.